Ah, oh, come on, we're mates, aren't we? What was it like? Libby Kennedy, an older woman. Shut up. Shut up. So, what's going on, guys? Well, I've had a gut fill. I'm, I've got graffiti everywhere, kids laughing behind my back, my friends discussing my sex life. How would you feel? It'd be awful, but it's no one else's business. Well, I was just trying to... Yeah, be stupid? No, supportive. Yeah, well, I think maybe you shouldn't mention Libby Kennedy. Sometimes I wonder if you aren't totally obsessed with sex. Yeah. Well, you know all about it endlessly. Yeah, well, it's important, isn't it? Anyway, I just thought the Taj might want to confide in someone. Oh, sure. Yeah, well, why wouldn't it? Girls do it all the time. Do they? Don't they? Jack, forgive me if I'm being sexist, but girls have something called sensitivity, and they know when to shut up and mind their own business. Well, great, so now I'm insensitive. Well, Taj seemed to think so. I can't win, can I? Look, he's not the sort of show-off guy. Like, he doesn't want people cracking dumb jokes about a woman who's special to him. You know, he wants and needs a real friend right now, and that's where you come into it. Yeah, right. And you know what I'm talking about. Drop this stupid stud talk and be there for him. Sensitive and caring. Oh, you're catching on already. Yep, yeah, but Steph, it's for media studies, for school. Yeah, look, I just need Stano's number. Pen. Yep, got one. Yep. Yep. Cool. Hey, look, um, how's Libby doing anyway? Yeah, your mum said she'd gone to the country to stay with her grandfather or something. New home? Oh, no reason. I was just, you know, wondering how she's doing. It's all a bit of a mess. Yeah, look, Steph, um, I've got to go back to school. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, bye. Thanks. What were you talking about? <laughs> you don't want to know. Oh, but I do. Uh... Taj asked me to find out where Libby was, so I asked Steph. Jack. What? I was just being a good friend, like you said. The last thing Libby needs right now is Taj turning up. Probably. This is cool, isn't it? Well, you could say that Steph didn't tell you. Yeah, I could, but I'd be lying. Jack, just leave it. Let Taj get over all this. Promise me? Maybe. Um, talk about coffee and two sugars, thanks. Tony? How can I help you? I just wanted to say how so sorry I am about Dee, and it was a terrible thing. I, anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. That's nice. All I can say is just enjoy your lovely, perfect little life, because you never know what's going to happen next. Hey, sorry, mate. Soccer. Hey, what's wrong? No, I just wanted to tell Toady how sorry I was about Dean. He just picked my head off. Yeah, well, he's kind of dealing with a lot at the moment. I shouldn't have said anything. Yes. But good tickles, right? <laughs> yes. Well, uh, I don't want you getting too carried away. Sensitive and caring, you know. Oh, that's right. Uh, thank you for listening. Well, I always listen to you. Too scared not to. I'm sorry if I was a bit bossy before. Mm, I like bossy women. <laughs> I mean, about Taj and Libby's address. Pass it on if you want to. You think that'll be okay? Yeah, sure. Just as well. Did you give it to him already, didn't you? Guilty. Oh, Jack, I try so hard to turn you into the perfect snag, but I've decided it's a lost cause. I, um, just slipped up on the sensitive and caring, didn't I? Oh, no, you're still hanging in there. Just now, I knew you weren't so obsessed with sex. I am not obsessed with sex. Just a hopeless romantic. A romantic, huh? Like candlelight and roses. 
Mm -mm. Like this. Mm. What? Patience. Some things are worth waiting for. 